In this video, uh, I'm going to demonstrate <coughs> how to develop uh, and logic uh, simulation uh, using the SCADA software that is Delta DIE software. Uh, let us uh, <coughs> go to the uh, logic first. So this is what I'm going to create. That is uh, and logic. So here two inputs are there: input A and input B. And output is uh, we consider as a <coughs> lamp or light indicator. This is a two table. Uh, that means in and logic, uh, the output is on only when input A and input B both are on. Otherwise, in all other conditions, uh, output is off. Right. So there are two inputs and one output. So I'm going to uh, design the same screen, same uh, uh, screen for the animation using the Delta DIA View Development Software. Double click on this. Uh, <coughs> so here, go to New and Project Name. Uh, could be like uh, development of development of and logic click on ok empty take empty and then project will be created see here this is a project double click on that and then first is I don't have a PLC hardware <coughs> so I will uh, take the simulator so click on the IO device and then right click uh, new device in the simulator select the simulator again select the simulator click OK click next and select memory here and then click OK So we know that there are only three variables. So first go to the variable dictionary, <coughs> then add variables here. First you add uh, input A, but the space is not allowed, so that is why underscore you have to use input A, and that should be digital. And again add input B, add let's say for example LED. Okay, that is output. Go to device again, add their input A. Input okay, this is input A variable should be that is memory type and boolean, and this is also memory type boolean. And then add here. There is a LED. Associate variables. Click on three dots, and then take input A, and input B, and LED. That means whatever variable we have declared, that we are linking to device zero. Okay, so your device zero is simulator. So once this is done, we'll go to the window and right click new window there first of all uh, the grid display you can switch off here see this is dis uh, it looks good now white screen then go to gallery uh, button switch now i'm developing the screen so while demonstrating on uh, means logic aids it is better to take toggle switches so this toggle switch is better that is knob switch knob switch you are taken this is this is a knob switch so two quantities required and go to the indicating instruments so there 
I would like to take this in the theater and go to toolbox take a text here text and then select the area and then while selecting your text go to the text here in the bottom right bottom here text there is a content here this is the content you add for example input yeah, year space is allowed and I'm copy this I'll paste here and double click on it and in the content you add input B and again then copy this this is indicator output okay so that you can name it as per your wish and uh, <coughs> double click on the toggle see this is toggle but uh, by default it will act like a push button so to change that go to the event there is one option called button input so their button input three dots will be there click on that and there you have to change the value as toggle okay and then select the variable here input a is a variable for that b also go to event and button input you set it as toggle and then input should be input b okay now again go to the toggle switch number one there in the animation section child animation is the right for all the option you have to link input here click on three dots and then delete this there is a clear option is there first clear it and then go to variable dictionary select input here again on switch animation three dots click on three dots clear then input here three dots clear input a okay okay clear input a rotate also no uh, rotating the knob so clear input a So same steps you have to repeat for input B also double click on here uh, in the animation in the child animation you have to link variable that is input B for all the option Here, input B. So these are all for inputs. Output indicator. Click on the indicator. There, go to animation. In the child animation, only one option is there. Three. Click on three dots. And then variables. Click on three dots. Variable is LED. So now we have successfully linked all the variables. Now it is time to write the script. So go to the script. Condition script add then for uh, for what device you are writing the script that you have to link it click on three click on three dots and then there is a your device is there device zero okay and start writing the script see in and gate this is important in and gate when when output to be on by default it is off when output is on when two switches are on so for that condition you have to write the instruction so if variable 
input a is equal to true and variable input b is equal to true then then variable led is equal to true else variable led is equal to false and end the program end it is end if so this is a program okay i think you can cross check it yes compile the sex compile the success <coughs> then uh, this is the program and then save and exit uh, next is we go to the I hope everything every steps are done so go to the run mode ignore See here input A is on, but B also on, output is on. When input A is off, input B is on, output is on. Like that, when input A is on, input B is off, output is off. When both are off, output is off. So this is how you can develop uh, the screen to demonstrate the and logic. Uh, <coughs> okay. So this is the uh, steps to be followed.